Alright guys, so it is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021 at 2.46am. Alright, so I came here to um, Twitter and we have uh, warnings for the um, from the Prediction Center for the areas around Michigan and the Great Lakes. It says the SPC now has a moderate level 4 out of 5 risk for Wednesday across much of Wisconsin. A fast-moving complex of storms will likely move across the state. SBC mentioned Derecho possible, so that the Derecho or Derecho is possible. Several tornadoes are also possible, both initially embedded in the line. Let's take a look at the image. This is for today, uh, basically. Now it is 2.46 a.m., so for today. It says severe weather outlook for Wednesday. July 28th, 2021, from Hayward to St. Paul to Green Bay to La Crosse to Madison, all the way uh, from Duluth to ben Benji, Rochester, Rockford, Aurora, parts of Chicago, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, Lansing, Ann Arbor, Toledo, Lafayette, all the way to Columbus, Akron, Cleveland, Detroit. Lesser as it goes out with the green, more severe as in the red here as you see by St. Paul, Green Bay, La Crosse, and Hayward. Alright guys, so severe weather is possible tomorrow. Possibility of Dereco, possibility of tornadoes, possible hail and wind and rain. Alright. Let's take a look. Severe weather outlook concerning the same area. All right, and you see here from the NWS Storm Prediction Center, uh, SPC Day One Outlook: Moderate risk for extreme east central Minnesota and to southeast Wisconsin this afternoon into tonight. All right, let's take a look. This is um, the forecast model showing by the Great Lakes possibility of severe weather. Here again weather, a uh, heavy rain, flash flooding possible in these areas, severe thunderstorms possible, and rain and thunderstorms in this area. So heads up for the Great Lakes area from Minnesota all the way um, to Chicago. Pretty much this whole area is going to be seeing the possibility of damaging winds. It says here, line of damaging winds increasingly likely in the Midwest. So heads up guys. Just wanted to make sure you guys got this video and are, are aware of the possibility of severe weather. Alright, also from Sky News, towns around Italy's Lake Como have been hit by flash floods and landslides after heavy rainfall struck the popular holiday destination. So, that's sad to hear from that area. And I found this adorable from the sun. It says, baby giraffe can't stop staring at her own shadow. This is so adorable. She's just looking at her shadow like, what is this? What is this thing? <laughs> Alright. Also, for Mobile, Alabama, it says dangerous heat is in the forecast later this week, starting on Thursday. Wednesday highs in the mid, in the mid to low 90s. Widespread heat indices for 103 to 107. So that means the heat index could be high from 103 to 107 on Wednesday and Thursday highs in the mid up of 90s widespread heat indices from 107 to 113 so heads up mobile it's gonna be a hot one the, the next three couple of days today tomorrow and the day after is gonna be rather warm so heads up guys that'll be if it's hot in your area remember to drink water to have uh, to be in a cool area, don't forget to look at for uh, your elderly or people who have disabilities. Keep an eye on them, make sure that they're okay as well. All right, mm -hmm. I'm just looking to see any other news. It says here, rioters set uh, off fire in wooden area across from the White House that was six hours ago. People were rioting and just pretty much setting things on fire outside of the White House, which is pretty scary. 
Uh, also here in uh, North Carolina, we got hot, hot weather. It says some of the hottest and most humid air we've seen so far this summer is likely Wednesday through Friday. Make sure to stay hydrated and spending time outdoors in the next few days. Let's take a look at the heat uh, indices. This is the heat index. It's going to be around 93 in Asheville, 84 in Boone. But look at this. Uh, Albemarle, 101. Sanford, 102. Raleigh, 102. Rockmont, 101. Goldsboro 105, Greenville 105, New Bern 107, Jacksonville 110, Beaufort 100, Wilmington 108, and Elizabethtown 109. So it's going to be pretty, pretty hot, guys. It's going to be hot the next couple of days. Please stay safe. Make sure you stay hydrated. And if you can, stay indoors and stay cool. All right, next, meteorologist Johnny Parker said in the Eastern Pacific, an area of low pressure is expected to form by that late week. Thereafter, the system has a medium chance of 40% of becoming tropical cyclone during excuse me, the next five days. So, heads up for below Mexico. We're getting a 40% chance of a tropical cyclone or tropical system developing there. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. I just wanted to share those warnings so you guys are aware and stay safe. Alright guys, see you guys next time. God bless you guys.